hi friends so today i'm solving this problem maximum number of points with cost so uh, in this question basically one uh, uh, 2d array is given to us and uh, we have to uh, pick the one element from every row okay and uh, from every row we have to pick the one element and there some of the picked numbers should be the maximum but there is a penalty as well so whenever we are picking any number okay so for example we have picked let's say this 3 okay then we are picking suppose this 5 so 3 plus 5 is the one thing we have to make the sum of them but there is a penalty as well that penalty is basically uh, their column index difference okay so see here if we pick 5 so it would be 5 plus 3 minus the absolute difference of the columns of these picked number so what is the uh, a column here this is 2 okay previously picked number is 2 and this guy has 1 so 2 minus 1 so what would be the answer answer would be 8 minus 1 so 7 so so far 7 we have till here now we are coming to this final row now suppose we are picking 3 here okay then what we will do we will add this 3 here so 7 plus 3 now again we have to deduct the absolute difference so this is 1 column and this is 0 column so 1 minus 0 okay so what it would be so it would be finally 10 minus 1 so 10 minus 1 so equal to 9 so 9 would be the answer if we pick in this way 3 5 3 so basically we have to take care of this penalty as well and uh, we have to maximize this sum with this rule okay so this would be our uh, problem that we have to solve now let me explain what would be my approach here so we will go in a dynamic programming way I'll tell you why okay so uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just created one array of size or uh, column size okay whatever column size of this like four size so this is pre array so as we know that uh, this is very first call row right so very first row there is no row above it so there is no question of uh, uh, finding the absolute difference right because nothing is above there so what i'm doing first row i'm keeping as it is for this array pre array okay this is just a variable array so i am taking the first row into it so 5 2 1 2 okay so 5 2 1 2 i copied everything here now intention is like we are starting our processing from the second row because first is as it is okay these are the intermediate rows we are calculating intermediate stuff so that we can finally get the what would be our final row values and so in this case let's say so see here suppose we are picking any value okay randomly let's say i am picking five here so to reach this five we would have either coming from this here or from this or from this or from this basically either we are coming from upper left or we are coming from the upper right right either we are coming from upper left like this like this or top or we are coming from upper right okay this would be our reaching way to here right so same way we will do so in this left array we would be looking for the values which will be come from the left side upper left side and thus right we would take for the whatever would come for the uh, upper right side so let's do dry run then it will make a better sense okay so 5 2 1 2 we picked uh, this uh, array into uh, this very first array okay now see here we will pick so see here this is 5 only so uh, there is nothing on the left side right so 5 would be as it is okay because there is no possibility of upper left now we are at this point so we have two points either we can pick this guy 2 or we can pick this guy 5 right which is on left side already be stored so if we pick this two it would be two only and uh, if we pick this guy it would be five minus one why five minus one because we have to deduct the absolute difference of arrays uh, column as well right so this is zero this is one this is two this is three okay but this five is coming from this guy zeroth right zeroth column right so for that reason we have to check which is the max so we are getting the max of it so uh, here it is 2 and here it is 5 minus 1 so obviously 5 minus 1 is greater so what we will fill here we will fill here 4 okay now we are coming here so we have two options either we will look from the for the left side it is 4 
so 4 minus 1 okay for the same reason the the way we were doing here so either we can pick here 3 okay 3 is the one possibility or whatever it is on the top of it so top of it what it is it is uh, uh, this guy 1 right third log is and it is 1 so top of it is it is 1 so 3 and 1 which is greater 3 is greater so we will pick here 3 now we are to the final guy here so what all possibility either we can go to the top of it so it would be directly 1 or we can go to the left side minus 1 so this is 3 minus 1 minus 1 you understood because of the we have to direct the absolute difference so 3 minus 1 so 2 would be basically uh, so here what it would be uh, 3 minus 1 it would be 2 but top of it it is also 2 right so 2 and 2 so whatever is 2 is the maximum anyway both of them are 2 so 2 is the maximum so we are done with the filling of the left correct similarly we will go to right side so in the right side this is the 2 on the right side so this 2 would be directly put because there is nothing on the right of it now we will start filling from here so see here either we can get this guy so 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 would be 1 or whatever on the directly top of it that is 1 okay just uh, corresponding to this value it is 1 here so we will pick 1 as well here so which one is max both are 1 so we will pick any one of them this is 1 now we have to fill this guy so see here we have two possibility either the this guy 1 minus 1 so it would be 0 or whatever there on top of it so this is 2 so 0 and 2 what is the maximum 2 is the maximum so we will put 2 here now we are finally at here so either we can have two values this is the right side so 2 minus 1 this would be 1 and what is the top of it it is 5 so which one is greater 5 is greater so we will put 5 here okay so now we have filled both left and right now you guys might have a question that i am why i am taking only minus one because see here so whatever point c whenever we were filling here let's say take an example we were filling here so we were checking four minus one we are checking only minus one because till here this is the best value which till this point it is already calculated okay so for that reason i am doing only minus one this is covering basically all these left side values but because we are keeping the best value already calculated so we don't have to bother about we have to bother about only the left side one and similarly for right side one now after filling this left and right we have to fill this cur array so what this cur array is basically we have to fill this cur array with whatever the maximum value on every uh, cell from left and right plus whatever the corresponding uh, value in the original array basically in this so this way in this one 2 1 5 2 right this is the original second row so what we will do 5 and 5 which one is max 5 is max so 5 plus 2 this is our very first right so 2 so we will 5 plus 2 it would be 7 so we will put 7 here now come to this this location so this is 4 this is 2 so 4 is maximum so we will pick 4 here from here we will pick 4 okay and what is the corresponding value here it is 1 so 4 plus 1 it would be 5 here okay now come to this point so from here 3 and 1 so what is the maximum 3 is maximum so we picked 3 from here and what is the corresponding value at at this location this second row it is 5 so 3 plus 5 what it would be it would be 8 right now we have to come to final one so what is there both of there two and two only so maximum is also two now two plus what is the value here it is two right so two plus two it is four okay so in the second row this would be our fulfillment so far okay so what we will do this pre initially this pre was the very first row but now we have calculated this value to fill in the second row now we will whatever value cur has we will uh, put these values into pre array so that we can go to the third row okay so let me fill that so guys see for whatever cur value are there i am putting these values to our pre new values okay so 7 5 8 4 7 5 8 and 4 okay so now this is our second row calculated values okay so 
now we will fill for this we will look for the third value okay third row so uh, 7584 is the new value i'm clearing all these left right and curve we have to get the new set of values now so guys now we are gonna uh, calculate for the third row so left so this is seven so we will directly put seven here okay now we are coming to here so see here directly above it is five okay and left side it is seven minus one so six so what is the max in six and five so in six and five six is the max right so this value would be six okay now we are here so top of it it is eight directly above it it is eight and on the left side it is six so eight and six minus one so eight and six minus one is five and eight so what is the max max is obviously eight so what it would be it would be coming as eight now we are at final one so top of it it is four and left side it is eight so eight minus one it is seven and top of it it is four so seven and four what is the maximum so seven is the maximum so we are done with the left side array now come to the right one so right side four is already this is the rightmost so we are directly putting this four now we are starting from here so what is the top of it top of it is it is eight and right side minus one so four minus one so eight and three so what is the max obviously it is max so we will put eight here so let me put it eight okay now fulfill this guy so what is the top of it top of it is five and right of it it is eight minus one so five and seven right eight minus one so seven so five and seven what is the max seven is max so we will put this seven here now we'll come to this guy set final one so on right side it is seven so seven minus one it is six and top of it, it is seven so six and seven which is the max seven is max so we will keep it seven here okay now we are done with the left and right so what we will do now we will take the maximum of these two plus whatever they are in the row okay third row so seven and seven what is the max seven itself is max so seven plus five so seven plus five it is twelve right now come to this so six and seven maximum is seven and here it is five so seven plus five again it is twelve right now come to this part so this is eight and eight so maximum is eight and eight plus five it is 13 right so we are putting here 13 now come to this final one so this is 7 this is 4 so 7 is max so 7 plus 0 this would be 7 now this is our final row right so this is our end row so we don't have to go further and now whatever is maximum in this like 13 so 13 would be the maximum answer so 13 would be the answer here now you should be very clear with this uh, approach okay so i would be showing you my corresponding code for it let me go to code part of it so i see here first of all i'm just declaring this grid m and n okay after that this is my uh, dp question this is my dp method sorry so uh, the, here i created this uh, pre okay and i'm populating the pre with the very first uh, row right the way which i filled here for first row i filled with this pre right 5 2 1 2 write that so i'm doing the same here I, after filling first row into this pre then i'm moving ahead see here i'm starting from 0 and ending till m minus 1 why because we are going we are starting from second row right so we are making i plus 1 okay see here m minus 1 because inside it we are starting from second row right Similarly, we will go, so whatever i is there, we are fulfilling the i plus 1th row. So for that reason, I have put it i equal to 0 to i less than m minus 1. Okay, now these are my, those three array that we created here. This left, right and curve, that is what I have created here. And see here, left 0 equal to pre 0, I am initially fulfilling. And similarly, right n minus 1 equal to pre right, uh, n minus 1. The way which I filled here, this 7 directly equal to this guy and uh, this uh, right directly equal to this guy i filled right so for same thing i am doing here so i just filled that now see here i am traversing further now see here 
first of all i am fulfilling the left guy okay similarly math dot max of left j minus 1 minus 1 and pre j this this part right we were every time we were checking what is the top of our weight and what is the left of it let's say we are fulfilling this then we were getting this guy plus left j minus 1 minus 1 right so same thing i am doing here so similarly i am going from the right side for the right uh, uh, array okay now see here i am looking uh, i am fulfilling the current array so current array is grid i plus 1 j i plus 1 means we are starting from the second row when we were i equal to 0 we are fulfilling the i plus 1 basically the next row okay so grid i plus 1 j plus maximum of left j and right j same way we were doing here right at this time we were doing here what is the max among these two guys plus whatever the corresponding value in this row right so same way i am doing this is i plus one row at i equal to one we are at here i plus one which is uh, third row basically two index so uh, after doing this i am assigning c reassigning the pre to this calculated curve uh, row okay so same way we are traversing through and finally our pre would be having the values and then finally i am returning the max value from this pre array which is our actual the answer so let me execute the code i am executing the code let me try to submit it it is working fine so thank you for watching this video if you guys have any concern Please make a comment over there. Thank you.